The Fast and the Furious movies are filled with action, which makes them a perfect fit for WWE wrestlers. Throughout the over nine movie franchise, we've seen wrestlers appear in both big and small roles. The very first time someone from WWE made the jump was in 2011, when The Rock appeared in Fast Five. As the character Luke Hobbs, the Great One starts out as a member of the Diplomatic Security Service. He is tasked with tracking down Doc Toretto and his crew after they are framed for killing three DEA agents. Despite starting as enemies, the two eventually see eye to eye after Dominic saves the former WWE Champion. While the People's Champion decides to continue to work for the government, he still helps Toretto, even breaking out of a hospital to help Dom. The Rock has had so many amazing moments in the Fast and Furious franchise, it's hard to pick the best. My personal favorite is when Rocky fights Deckard Shaw in Furious 7. It's a pretty cool battle, but the best part is when Rock hits the rock bottom on Shaw through a glass table. That's freaking awesome. Speaking of Furious 7, later in the movie, the team travels to the capital of the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi. They need to steal a USB drive containing an advanced tracking device called God's Eye. The device is in the hands of a rich prince, so the Fast and Furious crew have to pull off a heist to get it back. The head of the prince's security is a woman named Kara, played by former Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey. The baddest woman on the planet lives up to that name when she confronts Letty Ortiz. Rousey uses a ton of her signature moves in the fight, but does borrow the Superman punch from Roman Reigns. At one point, Ronda even throws Letty through a wall. The two women brawl for a while, and I guess it must have been a tables match because the battle ends when both ladies fall off the ledge and break through a table. This next appearance is my personal favorite. In the Fast and the Furious spin-off movie, Hobbs and Shaw, The Rock's character, Luke Hobbs, has to team up with his former enemy, Deckard Shaw. Shaw's sister, Hattie, has a virus in her body that will not only kill her, but will spread from her and infect everyone on Earth. The group manages to steal a device that will get the virus out of Hattie, but gets damaged during their escape. The Rock decides to take them to his childhood home in Samoa to visit his tech-savvy brother who can fix the device. It's during this scene that we see Hobbs' family, which includes Roman Reigns, playing a character named Mateo. Reigns doesn't say much, which might actually be a good thing. You are a sniveling little suck-up sellout full of suffering suckatash, son! The head of the table is mostly seen in the background until the bad guys show up. The villains of the movie, Edeon, invade The Rock's home to try and take back the device. The Great One and his family unfortunately don't have any guns, but they do manage to disable Edeon's weapons for a short while. This allows Reigns to bash people with his club, as well as use his fists. It all looks pretty cool, and Roman even manages to hit a Samoan drop, followed by a signature battle cry. There's also a cool part where The Rock and Rowan Reigns team up to take down the villains. The Rock and the rest of his on-screen family also mention Uso a lot, but I didn't see Jimmy or Jay anywhere in the movie. Usos! I love you, Uso. Do Uso. Uso. While this wrestler hasn't appeared in any of the Fast and Furious movies, he did voice a character in the Spy Racers animated series on Netflix. Take a listen and see if you can guess who voices this guy. How did I get out here? Wait, you two saved me, didn't you? I knew I could count on you two. If you guessed Big Show, you are correct. The world's largest athlete voices Palindrone, a muscle-bound giant goofball so basically what the big show is like in WWE. Palindrone is tasked with tracking down the character Mrs. Nowhere, but despite his level of fitness, the bearded man is unsuccessful in all of his attempts. The big show's character has only appeared in two episodes so far, but hopefully we'll see him more in the future. If so, maybe we'll get to see him hit a choke slam or a KO punch at some point. While not really getting to play a character, it's worth mentioning that Vladimir Kozlov did do stunt work for the Fast and Furious franchise. Specifically, the Moscow Mauler appeared in the 2017 film Fate of the Furious. During the movie's climax, the crew find themselves invading a military base in Russia. The Rock and the other members of the team have to fight off an onslaught of Russian soldiers, and one of them is played by the former WWE Tag Team Champion. Even though he didn't get much screen time, Vladimir Kozlov was able to snake a picture with the People's Champion and gave The Rock some major props on Twitter. The most recent WWE star to join the Fast and the Furious franchise is the Invisible Man himself, John Cena. Making his debut in the ninth Fast and Furious movie, Cena plays Jacob Toretto, the brother of Dominic Toretto. 
the leader of the C Nation is a highly skilled thief and is trying to steal Project Ares, a device that can control all the world's computers and weapon systems. This causes Sienna to come face to face with his on-screen brother and leads to a lot of fighting. Hopefully for Dominic's sake, John Cena doesn't use the five moves of doom on his brother. In the comments, tell us one WWE wrestler you'd like to see make an appearance in another Fast and Furious movie. Also, check out the video on the left on every WWE wrestler who appeared in Marvel movies. Shout out to the unstoppable Aldi and thank you for all the support. Until next time, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner and take it easy.